This is John Cole with OKRaw.com. You caught me right in the middle, or actually almost at the end of juicing my carrots for today. And uh, so in this episode, actually I want to show you guys actually why I would rather drink carrot juice than eat bananas. And you're probably thinking, John, you are a class one fruit hater, man. You must hate fruits because you hate bananas. You're hating on bananas. You're saying carrot juice is bitter. Get out of here, man. You might turn off the video now, and you know, I wouldn't really object with that. You guys could do anything you want to do. But what I thought I'd do for you guys in this episode is actually show you guys my 10 reasons. There's lots of reasons why I prefer to drink carrot juice instead of bananas, right? And it's not that I'm a fruit hater, so you know, I want to stop right there. Hey, peace, love, and seasonal fruit, guys. Check out Chris Kendall with the Raw Band if you want to get your own t shirt. Uh, but here's the thing, right? Fruits are an amazing food. I eat fruits every single day, right? That being said, amongst all the different foods on the planet, right, there are foods, depending on your specific needs, that are better or for worse, or worse, right? For my specific needs, what I've identified, what I'm living for, why I eat, <laughs> you know, the carrot juice is much more beneficial as you guys will learn. But that being said, every different plant food has a whole host and spectrum of different kinds of vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, pigments, antioxidants, and all these things. So it's not good to just, oh, John says carrot juice is better. I'm not saying carrot juice is better. I said I would rather drink carrot juice than eat bananas. But to you guys, do, guys, do what you guys want to do and makes the most sense for you. But I thought I'd share with my, my opinions with you guys on this subject. As somebody who has been eating a raw fruit and vegetable based diet now for the last 25 years. I started in 1995 guys, I've gone through the gamut, I've eaten high fruit, lower fruit, you know, medium amount of fruit, all these things and depending on where you're at in your life, you know, eating bananas may make more sense to you than eating, drinking carrot juice, but for me drinking carrot juice is way better. Now I will give a disclaimer, I'm not just promoting carrot juice because I happen to sell juicers at discountjuicers.com. I also happen to have over 500 episodes online, put a link down below, to comparing and contrasting different juicers, right? Because number one, I'm a fan of getting more fruits and vegetables in you. Most people in America are not eating enough fruits and vegetables. And if if you guys aren't going to juice because it's too hard, then yes, absolutely, eat more bananas because you're too lazy to juice or whatever, we, the whole population just needs to eat more fruits and vegetables. But if you are one of the people that have been maybe eating fruits and vegetables for a period of time and want to tune in and dial in your diet, then hey, maybe once in a while, maybe you don't have to live on carrot juice like I do, but maybe once in a while you should be drinking some carrot juice because it is so beneficial as you guys will learn in this episode. Um, and the other thing is, no matter which one you choose, carrots or the bananas, these are way healthier than basically anything else you guys could eat on the entire planet, right? Better than McDonald's, better than Oreo cookies, better than vegan Coke or Diet Coke, even worse. Or, you know, vegan processed foods that come in packages. You know, we want to eat real foods, fruits and vegetables at the top of the list, all right? So without further ado, let's get into this video. But before I do, man, I gotta drink some of this stuff. Mmm. So good. I'm so thirsty. Alright, so I am gonna compare basically 100 calories of carrot juice to 100 calories of bananas. You could weigh, you could compare them by weight, but that would change the outcome to some extent. So I want to compare it on calories because what we all know is that we need to have the proper amount of calories per day to keep our body functioning properly. Now the big challenge is along with those calories will come phytonutrients, phytochemicals, vitamins and minerals to a bigger or a lesser extent, right? You could eat white sugar and put white sugar in your smoothies because we need to carb the F up. And sugar is the most important thing because it provides us calories and fuel for our bodies, which is totally true. But the challenge is basically it's devoid of basically everything else, right? So for me, I strive to get foods that have the maximum amount of, um, you know, things other than just the calories. You know, the more calories you eat of foods that don't have as much nutrition, that means you're missing out on nutrition. So basically every mouthful that I eat, I strive, although I don't always do this, to have as much phytonutrient rich packed, you know, as I possibly can. Uh, because I believe 
at my point in my life, based on what I've learned over all these years eating a raw food diet, that they are essential to, for thriving or not on a raw food diet, whether you want to call your dad fruitarian or whatever you want to call it, right? There's a cult. I mean, little, I mean, I would call it a cult of the, you know, eating 30 bananas a day, right? And basically pass, smashing in the bananas because they're the most important food on the planet. We need to get our calories and you can eat even 3,000 calories of bananas and you won't gain weight. And that's what they claimed, right? And to me, you know, that's not the smartest thing to do because basically if you're eating 3,000 calories of bananas, hey, that's still healthier than basically what most people are eating out in the world. But the problem is, while you are concentrating certain nutrients that are in bananas, and yes, you can even get enough iron from eating bananas, you gotta eat a lot of them. <laughs> and you can get a lot of nutrients from bananas, but you gotta eat a lot of them. The problem with that is that it displaces you from eating other foods that have different vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients that I believe are imperative for health. So, you know, I want you guys to have a well-rounded diet you know, don't just eat bananas, don't just drink carrot juice. Hey, maybe you can make a carrot juice banana smoothie vacuum blended, right? And then you can get the best of both worlds. So I want you guys to have a varied diet, you know, over all other things. And once again, fruits and vegetables are the best. I'm not a banana hater. I'm not a fruit hater. I <laughs> give equal time to fruits and vegetables. Actually, after my carrot juice, I'll be eating some organic peaches today. Uh, so anyways, let's get into the video. Reason number one why I would prefer to drink carrot juice instead of bananas, and here's the thing guys, I eat like 95% plus organic. I grow some of the food I eat in my backyard, which is beyond organic, but if I'm gonna be buying food, I don't like to get conventional food because it can be sprayed with toxic, neurotoxic pesticides and potentially have lower nutrition content and whatnot, plus I don't want the practices they use to grow these foods, like spraying toxins on the planet, putting synthetic fertilizers in the soil, you know, um, to happen to the planet because it's not good for the planet. So the first reason why I like the carrots is because generally carrots are more widely available organic than organic bananas. Now, I will say carrots and bananas are two of the most widely available organic foods, but generally if the store carries organics, I've seen many stores that carry organic carrots, but not bananas. And if you think about that, why is that? The main reason is because carrots in a cooler in a fridge could literally last a month on the shelf without any issue. Whereas if you get ripe bananas, I mean, geez, these bananas are basically ripe and ready to eat now. I think after this episode, I'm going to be um, freezing these because I'm not eating them today because I got some organic uh, peaches to eat. Um, they don't last as long. They don't have a longer shelf life, so that means they're going to spoil faster. Conversely, they're easy to find, but more importantly, once you find them and get them home, put them in your fridge, and I encourage you guys to keep your produce, well, your carrots anyways, uh, like between 33 to 36 degrees, because you could easily keep them if properly stored in a bag um, with maybe a little bit of venting, like a little hole, for easily a month. And I can't say that for fresh bananas. I mean, I literally bought these a couple days ago, and now they're already ripe. And if I don't eat these, they're going to be mush. And also, they attract fruit flies, which also is something I don't like a lot in the house. Carrots, on the other hand, that just, like, never happens to you. You know, so longer shelf life. And also, easier to find. Also, I do want to point out that both carrots, standard orange carrots and bananas, are the least expensive organic produce items you guys could buy. Around me, I basically get the carrots for 69 cents a pound. Bananas could also be 69 cents a pound. That being said, it takes two pounds of carrots to make 16 ounces of juice. And that'd be about 100 calories of carrot juice. And to get 100 calories of bananas is actually only like a, a, a portion, a small portion of one banana. So there's a lot more calories in bananas, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Reason number two why I prefer carrot juice <laughs> instead of bananas is because I can grow them in my backyard. I don't live in the tropics, I live in the subtropics, and in my climate I could grow carrots year round. And a matter of fact, I got carrots growing in my garden now, and as much as people love to eat the carrot roots, which I lo love to eat juice actually, I don't really eat too many, I, I shred them up in salads sometimes, but you can also eat the carrot greens, right? And so you guys can grow them and it is more commonly available near you. On the bananas, you know, you got to grow these guys in the tropics or more tropic, like uh, subtropical, tropic slash tropical weather where you don't get freezes. Otherwise, you won't be able to grow those yourself. So I really like to be empowered to grow my own food whenever possible. 
Another point I want to add is that in colder weather, right, the carrots will be more sweeter. So if you drank carrot juice before, you didn't like the taste, try buying carrots in the winter time, hopefully locally produced. Um, it's going to be sweeter than summer grown carrots when the warmer the weather is warmer. You know, when the weather is warmer, the carrots can get more strong slash earthy slash even bitter tasting. Um, you know, but that's actually more a sign of more phytonutrients in the carrots that can and may have health benefits. Third reason why I prefer carrot juice over the bananas because of food miles, right? I strive to be conscious about the food I'm eating and strive to buy the most local food and even grow my own local food whenever possible on as many of the items I can buy. I mean, if I see tomatoes from California versus tomatoes from Mexico, I'm gonna get the ones from California because they're literally one state away, just a, a short two hour drive uh, to California from where I am. And that being said, you know, carrots are literally grown in the next state. I think they also grow carrots. They actually grow carrots in this state. I was at a farm where they, where I could have harvested my own fresh carrots. And I'm, once again, growing them in my backyard. So that's hyper-local. But the bananas have to be grown in the tropics generally. They're grown in, like, uh, Ecuador or some South America or Central America country. And they have to be shipped up. So that's a lot more food miles and a lot more, um, you know, carbon being put into the air. And, you know, it's not, that's not as sustainable in my opinion. That being said, I'm not like an all or nothing guy. Like I never, I only eat local. I think also eating only local food, which, you know, I admire you guys that want to do that. I think eating local food could also be a big disadvantage. Although there's not going to be as many food miles, that's also going to very limit your diet into, you know, a, a much smaller varieties of foods you guys can eat and consume, right? As much as I'm not the biggest fan of bananas, I do eat them and I do enjoy them despite being from a little bit further away than I would like. Um, that being said, I strive not to buy imported bananas whenever possible, and if I'm home, I generally don't buy bananas. When I do travel to places like Hawaii or South Florida, maybe even actually San Diego, I could buy fresh bananas at Farmer's Market, which I do buy and do support them, because another reason why I like that they're more local is that because they also taste better. Talking about local grown and tasting better, fourth reason why I prefer carrot juice is because the carrots are harvested when they're riper compared to the bananas that are imported. Now, if you got a banana tree, this does not apply, or banana plants, does not apply. But for most people in the continental U.S., right, carrots can be grown to full maturity and actually are not often picked until full maturity because they're not going to pick undermature carrots that are too small because then carrots are sold by weight, the farmers are not going to get as much money. So they want to make it as large as possible before harvesting so they get the maximum dollar investment so that the carrots weigh more because they are paid for by the pound. So they're in the ground longer, absorbing more nutrition, you know, off from the, from the ground and getting all the nutrients they need because, you know, as you guys know, near the end of the development of the plant, you know, more nutrients are basically pumped into this root vegetable because this is a storage vegetable. It stores the nutrients and the sugars in here so that when the plant goes to flower and seed, it can basically reproduce and it sends all the energy up from uh, the roots into the plant so that it can make all the seeds and they can get distributed. Meanwhile, for the bananas, right, you get, they do not ship in bananas that are this ripe. Why? Because if they shipped in bananas this ripe, you'd have a whole bunch of mush bananas that are rotten with fruit flies by the time they got to the U.S. All bananas imported into the U.S. are basically picked green, they're handled green, they're washed, they're basically packed in boxes, and then every banana that I'm aware of, basically, even if it's organic, goes into an ethylene gas chamber, which I have a picture of on one of my old Instagrams or somewheres. Yes, even organic, because on the ethylene gas chamber it said organic bananas only that I saw, right? So all bananas are then, you know, are, brought, are picked underripe, brought in, and then basically gassed to ripen, and they ripen fast. When they ripen fast, they don't have the flavor depth. They probably don't also have the nutrition that a more slowly ripened banana would have. If you guys want to experience slow ripened bananas, hey, check out Rain at Miami Fruit. Um, I have videos reviewing Rain and the bananas he can ship you from South Florida, which definitely are way better <laughs> than the store-bought ones. But still, I'm on the other side of the country from Florida, and California does not have a big banana culture, and most people don't grow them unless you're in, like, San Diego or maybe L.A. Another reason why I like the carrot juice instead of the almighty banana is because it is a more kind of sustainable plant 
to grow. Basically, banana plants, or people call them trees, technically they're not trees because they're herbaceous, they don't have any wood on there. They get really tall and big, and to get one bunch, which you yeah, have a bunch of bananas, could weigh a lot, right? It takes a, a good amount of space, and more importantly, takes nine months on average for banana plant to grow and then basically produce a banana bananas and then that whole plant is basically cut down it doesn't just grow on the tree and the tree just doesn't keep refruiting the banana basically um, stops producing they chop it down they use it as mulch and then a whole a little new baby pup grows up so basically every plant produces like one big rack of bananas with a bunch of bunches and that's it whereas a carrot you know they plant the seed and literally within two and a half months um, you know, they have carrots that they could harvest, right? I think it's 60 to 70 or 70 to 80 days. And these carrots, you know, they could plant these fairly close together, you know, they're maybe not touching, but maybe within a few inches apart. So literally in, in the same amount of space, land space, they could plant a lot of carrots that can actually get quite huge, especially if they're let to grow quite deep and they have nice loamy uh, sandy soil. Sixth reason why I like carrot juice instead of bananas is because it has less sugar. <laughs> I know that you guys find this hard to believe. John, we need the fiber in the bananas, man. When you're juicing the, the carrots, man, you're losing the fiber. Look, this is all the fiber you won't be eating. Actually, I will be eating this indirectly because it goes in my compost bin outside and my bacteria breaks it down and then this goes into making soil for me, which then go into my garden, which then my garden grows and then I eat things out of my garden. Or actually, I could feed this to my dog. I oftentimes will mix this in with his dog food and he, so he could get some extra fiber. Or also the other thing is I'll repress this and even get more juice out because <laughs> just juicer, it's only about 30%, uh, you know, we'll leave about 30%, 20 to 30% more juice in that pulp. When so check this out, right? Bananas actually have a higher glycemic index and glycemic load than the carrot juice, right? Even despite the carrot juice not having some of the fiber, right? I removed some of the fiber right here. This is the inside fiber in the container but in the juice there's the soluble fiber plus some of the fiber actually that the juicer put into the juice I could taste some grit in there um, but nonetheless you know when you juice carrots you keep about half the fiber and nonetheless even even after being juiced right this has a lower glycemic index and lower glycemic load uh, the glycemic load uh, on the carrot juice is 10 and the glycemic index on the carrot juice is 43 and on the bananas, the glycemic load is 13, and the glycemic index is 51. And of course, that will change depending on the ripeness of banana. I'm taking actually ripe bananas because that's what most people like to eat. So that being said, carrot juice has less sugar in it, or less effect on your blood sugar, than even the bananas. Even though this has all the fiber that was originally contained with it. So isn't that interesting? Right? Once again, to me, I'm really focused on the phytonutrients, which also to me, which we'll talk about in a minute, this is a lot more abundant in the juice. That being said, most people's foods that they're eating, most Americans eat a diet that has about 55 to 60 on the glycemic index, which is considered high. I do not encourage you guys to eat any processed foods, and in any case, <laughs> both these foods are still way healthier than basically any other processed food you guys be eating that has a much higher glycemic load and index, all right? On the, uh, so the glycemic load and index is considered low and low for the carrot juice, but actually on the bananas, it is, has a low glycemic index, but a medium glycemic load um, due to the 13 um, versus the 10, and just a few points can make, you know, a difference. The other thing I will say, you know, despite these having uh, you know, a low glycemic load and gl low glycemic index. Most people think that I can't eat bananas or I can't drink carrot juice, John. It's full of sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar is bad. Sugar is bad. <laughs> well, you know, in my opinion, processed sugar is extremely bad. And to me, processed sugar or processed fat, such as oil, is also not good when you start extracting things out of the food. Uh, it's not so good for us. And so, you know, this is, while this has some sugar, it comes with a whole host of other vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients, something that sugar does not have in it, along with the fiber, and yes, even this carrot juice has about half a fiber that it originally contained when it was the whole carrot. So reason number seven, and this is probably one of my strongest reasons for enjoying and why I like to drink carrot juice, 
instead of eat bananas is because of its nutrition breakdown for the same given 100 calories, you know, including all the different micronutrients that are important. You know, many people may focus on their macros, carbohydrates, fats, and protein, which most people talk about, but I really strive to talk about the micronutrients, which are the smaller nutrients and smaller components of the foods that are unfortunately are not talked about enough, but they should be because they are essential for our health. If you eat too many macronutrients and none of micronutrients, you know, you're not going to be living on an optimal diet, in my opinion, you know, and limiting your micronutrients to certain kinds of food, whether that's bananas, dates, and romaine lettuce, or whether it's McDonald's, Coke, and Oreos, not be a good thing. As much as I love carrot juice, actually this morning I had celery, cucumber with ashitaba juice, and then after that I had some watermelon with mint juice, you know. And I'll be drinking some carrot juice, and then later I'll be eating some peaches, and then tonight for dinner I'll be having a pepper soup made with basically pepper juice with different vegetables from my garden and all different kinds of other ingredients mixed up. Put a link down below on how I make my pepper raw pepper soup if you guys are interested in that. So I really encourage you guys to eat a wide variety of foods. And every different food will have a whole different spectrum of phytonutrients and phytochemicals. And so what I've done today is just done standard uh, printouts. And this is actually from uh, a chronometer of 100 calories of bananas and 100 calories of carrot juice with basically all the different nutrients. And you guys don't need to trust me. You guys could look this up yourself if you want. And we're going to go over some of the different Nutrition comparisons, because I know some of you guys just have it like, the bananas ranked up high on your list because it's the king and I need to eat 30 of them a day or else I'm not in the club, right? Um, and if you guys want to do that, hey, that's great. I'm telling you guys why I prefer to drink the carrot juice based on, you know, common nutritional data that is available that you guys could look up, all right? So let's cover carbohydrates first. The carrot juice is 23.6 grams of carbohydrates in this carrot juice according to this. And the bananas are uh, basically 26 grams. So, you know, that's a, like a two-point difference. These are all very high-carbohydrate foods. So, yes, I'm still in the high-carb club if I choose to drink the carrot juice <laughs> instead of drink eat the bananas. That being said, to me, it's more important than, than how many carbohydrates is, in it, is what comes along with the carbohydrates, right? So, if we look at the fats... Can you still keep your fats low if you eat either of these guys? Yes, in 100 calories of either one, um, or 101 calories, there's 0.4 grams of fat. So yes, these are low-fat foods by all means. Protein, right? Which is better in protein, would you say? Bananas or the carrot juice, right? Bananas, man, fruit have more protein, they're great. Actually, you'd be wrong, actually. The carrot juice has twice as much protein as the bananas, you know? And it is said that older people need to eat more protein than maybe younger people, depending on your life stage and where you're at. Of course, athletes, they should also probably get more protein to rebuild. So in that case, in, in 100 calories of food, the carrot juice is the winner. All right. Moving on to vitamins, and we could talk all day about vitamins. I don't have certain vitamins like, yeah, hey, bananas have vitamin C, which is great. But hey, if you look at vitamin C in, uh, in bananas, it's... 9.9 .9 milligrams, but if you look at the carrot juice, right, does it have more or less? It has more. It has 21.6 milligrams. That's like over double the amount of vitamin C in here. Vitamin C is a very important antioxidant, is anti-aging for us. In addition, I mean, you guys, I don't have to tell you guys which one's going to be greater in vitamin, pro-vitamin A or beta carotene, right? Does bananas have vitamin A? Yes, bananas can have beta carotene if it's the orange bananas. That being said, I've only eaten them like two or three times in my entire life. They're extremely rare. And if I had the orange bananas, I'd likely eat those more and <laughs> drink carrot juice less. But I don't, unless you grow them yourself because you just can't find them. Um, so that being said, vitamin A in the carrot juice is, oh my God, it's like 48,629 IUs. That's a lot. It's, uh, and then... The vitamin A in bananas is 78, 72.8 IUs. So man, this is off the charts, literally, like literally one glass of carrot juice could meet all your pro-vitamin A needs for the day, and that's provided you convert properly so that you could actually turn that into vitamin A in your body, and based on my recent blood test, which was about, I think, two times 
the, the high end, the, the range of the blood test because I had twice as much beta carotene. This to me is a good thing. I want my body flooded with beta carotene because literally what does a beta carotene do? It goes in, eats, eats each of your cells and your cell membranes in your whole body, right? And yes, it can turn your skin orange if you're drinking a lot of them, but that's because it's in every cell of your body. And when free radicals come to attack those cells, right, the free radicals then get to eat or attack the beta carotene and not you. So you won't age as quickly, right? Yes, one of my anti-aging secrets, <laughs> the carrot juice by all means, as well as many other things I do in my life, all right? So, uh, yeah, that's the A and C. Oh, and then vitamin K. Let's talk about vitamin K. Vitamin K and bananas. Is there vitamin K bananas? Vitamin K is essential for bone health and all this. And if you're eating lots of bananas, hey, yeah, you get 0.6 UG of the vitamin K. But in the bananas, you get 39.4 UG. So what's that? I mean, I don't even know. Like 60 times, 70 times more vitamin K in the bananas in the same given amount of calories, right? Is it becoming clear to you why John Kohler prefers the carrot juice instead of bananas? <laughs> All right, let's talk about minerals, right? Yes, everybody says, John, bananas, man, they're high in potassium, man. That's why we should eat them. That's why they're so good. Well, hey, here's a question for you guys. Are you guys going to get it right? What has more potassium? Bananas? Yes, they're very high. Or the, the same amount of calories in the carrot juice, right? So if we look at it, and you guys can look it up yourself, potassium in the bananas uh, for 100 calories is 407 milligrams. Like, whoa, that's a lot of potassium, man. 407 carrot juice, man. It's a freaking root vegetable. It's not going to be able to beat that. Well, hey, check this out, man. Root vegetables are bioaccumulators. And potassium in carrot juice, 100 calories, 742.5 milligrams. Not quite double, maybe 1.75 times more potassium. So the carrot juice rules over the bananas. So next time somebody says, where do you your potassium? Don't tell them bananas, guys. Tell them carrot juice, because I know you're going to be drinking it now. Likewise, another very important mineral for our health, especially if you're vegan and not eating animals with the, the bad kind of iron that could oxidize you, um, you know, the heme iron. We want to get iron from our foods. So what's more richer in iron or more rich in iron, bananas or carrot juice? Well, let's find out. Bananas, 0.3 milligrams of iron in 100 per 100 calories. And in carrot juice, it's 1.2. That's four times more iron in the carrot juice. Not to say that this is like a high iron food, but if you drink enough of this, you'll get enough iron. But nonetheless, it has way more iron than the bananas. Next, let's talk about calcium. Calcium is critical for bone health, especially if you guys are an athlete, right? You gotta have strong bones to support your muscle mass and do all the things you wanna do so you don't be breaking your bones. And I've only broken my bones once since I've been on this Lifestyle is when I fell off a ladder and literally just hit the cement like head first, but I put my arms out and I and I chipped or cracked a bone a little bit. It wasn't even that bad, so I didn't have to have a cast. Um, but my bones have been really strong eating the style diet that I do. So calcium, what has more, bananas or carrot juice? Calcium and bananas, 5.7 milligrams. Well, hey, that's respectable for a hundred calories of Bananas, but the carrot juice, 100 calories, 61.0. So that's like 10 times more calcium in the carrot juice than the same amount of calories in the bananas, okay? And then finally, I want to talk about another mineral, which is the zinc, right? Zinc is very important. It's important for our immune system. Not a lot of foods can't contain any, any you know, large quantities of zinc. So that's why I want to highlight this. These are not high zinc foods by any means, but... In a banana is 100 calories, it has 0.2 milligrams of zinc, and on the carrot juice, it has 0.5 milligrams, which is still a not a lot, but at least it's double the amount of zinc, and I'm not going to say you guys are going to get your zinc from the carrot juice. There are other foods you should get for your zinc, but in general, if you look at the overall mineral content of 100 calories of um, the carrot juice, it's going to be higher than the 100 calories of banana because it is basically just a more nutrient dense food in my opinion that you know per given calorie has more of the different phytonutrients which is the vitamins minerals phytochemicals that i'm really after eighth reason why i prefer carrot juice instead of bananas is because of the water content our bodies are 70 
percent or more water content if we're eating foods with under that water content it is dehydrating us and that's not a good thing especially if you live in a dry arid climate like I do so we want to eat foods that are hydrating to us and yeah many people might over overcome this by basically blending bananas with water so they could smash them in and in my opinion overeat bananas at the, at the detriment of not being able to eat other foods um, that being said Let's talk about the water content of both, right? Here's a juice that I just made. Look at that. I mean, literally, juice is 100% water, or pretty much 100% water, 99 or whatever, because there's all the nutri nutrients in there, vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals in there. But it's basically very easily absorbable. And will do a better job at hydrating you than the bananas that are about at 70% basically moisture content. So the bananas are not necessarily going to dehydrate you, but they're not going to go out of their way to hydrate you. They're going to kind of keep you at baseline to maintain your hydration. The other reason why I like the carrot juice so much is because also, in my opinion, although some may argue with me, that, um, you know, this is also more easier to digest because, you know, in our intestines, we have little villi that can only absorb nutrients that are in a liquid state. That's why if you do eat bananas, chew them into a mush, and make sure they're in a more liquid, baby food-like state. But the nutrients in the carrot juice are more easily assimilated because it is juice. And once again, you know, I would not say the same of um, hard carrots, right? They also say that, you know, John, you need to get, you need to cook the carrots to get the, the nutrients out of the carrots. So, you know, while there are some studies that show cooking carrots are better than raw carrots, there are also a study that I believe... Um, that says that juicing carrots has more nutrition than even the cooked carrots. The reason for this is because the reason why, you know, if you eat raw carrots, you don't get the nutrients out of them is because the cell walls are intact. Unless you're chewing it into a mush and chewing it really well, we're not going to get good absorption out of that. And that's why I like to break open the cell walls with the juicer uh, to do that. And when I break open the cell walls with the juicer, it, it, it gives me all the nutrients in here that can also oxidize because the, the cell walls protect the nutrition. Um, they're now blown open. Um, and the cooking does the same thing, but the problem with cooking is that it does it also at a heat or a temperature that can cause toxins in the heating process, especially if they're like fried or grilled. In addition, at the same time, heat can denature other different antioxidant vitamins especially. And, you know, I, I don't want to denature vitamins or minerals. I want to keep these as high as possible because, in my opinion, the, it's the micronutrients, guys, that are really the powerhouses that drive our health. Ninth reason why I prefer to drink carrot juice instead of eat bananas is, be, for me anyways, there are more, there's better flavor. I love the, the cold-pressed carrot juice. It reminds you of drinking milk because I do not drink animal milk and do not encourage you guys to do it either. You know, no other animal on the planet basically drinks the milk after it's weaned, after it's a baby. So to me, the carrots, um, you know, taste better, especially compared to the bananas that are imported, that are pit green, force ripen with ethylene, ethylene gas in a fast way that don't develop the full flavor, that don't have a, a good flavor to them, right? Now, this would change. Would I rather have carrot juice or fresh bananas that have been properly ripened of a unique variety because most people just get the standard Cavendish bananas which to me are like the bottom of the bottom I describe them as tasting like cardboard they don't taste like cardboard because I've never eaten cardboard um, but they don't have a really rich or good flavor now I've had other bananas at farms you know or that rain could ship you from Miami fruits that are like you know now Raja Puri bananas Namwa bananas there's all these different kinds of bananas that taste insanely incredible that I would rather eat <laughs> <laughs> you know, than drinking carrot juice, but for the most part, imported bananas, like, to me, they're not so good. While there are thousands of varieties of bananas on the planet, unfortunately, there's only maybe a handful that are available near you. Maybe you could get the baby bananas, maybe you get the Cavendish, maybe you get some red bananas sometimes, maybe some burrow bananas, maybe some Thai bananas, if you're lucky. Um, you know, likewise, there are many kinds of carrots, and with all the different kinds of carrots, you know, there's a lot more varieties. You know, we got, like, yellow carrots right here. We got like a white carrot right here. We got my favorite, which is the dark, deep black carrot right here. We got a standard, a more standard purple carrot, and we even got red carrots, right? And depending on the carrot color, there's more or less of different phytonutrients. So for example, orange carrots, which I don't have pictured, I just have the orange carrot juice, has a lot more beta carotene, but the red carrots contain the lycopene, right? 
The purple carrots contain the anthocyanins and the black carrots contain some either other nutrients that I forgot. <laughs> Yellow carrots probably contain more of the, the also other carotenoids as well. You know, so I really enjoy my carrots a lot more than the bananas due to the flavors and as well as the varieties and the whole spectrum of different nutrients. I do encourage you guys whenever possible to seek out and find these guys, the purple carrots, whenever possible. They're significantly more nutritious, uh, you know, than the standard orange ones, uh, you know, that most people can find. Tenth reason why I prefer the carrot juice over the bananas, and these got bananas are getting basically uh, dropping off the stems because they're so ripe, is because I believe you'll get a better health outcome in the end. Now, I'm not a long distance runner and probably a little bit difficult to just chug down carrot juice for your calories if you're doing long distance endurance running, but bananas are a little bit easier to store and eat, so you might want to do that. But for me and my lifestyle and what I want, which is longevity and the highest level of health, the carrot juice, you know, as shown by just people ingesting more beta carotene in scientific published studies, have better health outcomes when they're fighting different diseases. In addition, you know, they have the Gerson therapy, which one of the base juice recipes in the Gerson therapy is carrots and apples, right? The carrots have a, I think it's called farcarinol, which actually is higher in purple carrots than even the, the orange ones, that are anti-cancer properties, right? The Gerson therapy has been used for people with, you know, basically the unhealables that have cancer and have had many testimonials from people that have actually healed themselves of the cancer by going on the Gerson therapy. Now, I will say that, you know, while people, yeah, can heal their cancer with bananas, right, my money <laughs> is on the carrot juice. In addition, you know, there's more phytochemicals and phytonutrients in the carrot juice. Uh, in my belief, and probably based on some science, I mean, I, I printed out an article here on uh, basically uh, phytochemicals in Dallas carota and their health benefits review article, and it states the four types of phytochemicals found in carrots, namely phenol phenolics, carotenoids, polyacylenes, and ascorbic acid, were summarized. These chemicals aid in the risk reduction of cancer and cardiovascular disease due to their antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, plasma lipid modification, and anti tumor properties. But likewise, on the back of this, there's a, a published scientific journal study, bioactive compounds in banana fruits and their health benefits. And this says banana is known to be rich in not only carbohydrates, dietary fibers, certain vitamins, minerals, but also rich in many health-promoting bioactive phytochemicals. So you know, while bananas and carrots both have these phytochemicals, right? I believe the carrot basically just packs them in more um, because the carrots, after all, are a root vegetable and have to de defend themselves against all the possible invaders. Plus, due to the unique colors, which there are some different colors of bananas, like orange and red that I've seen. I haven't yet to see purple bananas, which would be really cool um, because it's, I believe these purple anthocyanins are critical for our health and most people just do not eat them. If you're not able to find the purple carrots, which may be available in multicolor packs at like uh, Sprouts, or Trader Joe's, or even Whole Foods, you know, I would encourage you guys to buy the wild blueberries, you know, available at Trader Joe's for the lowest cost or, you know, other places that have the wild blueberries. It's these, really, these, these phytochemicals are the most important properties of the food that many different, you know, peoples and different, eating different diets, whether that's a vegan, plant-based, um, you know, or fruitarians, may just not even consider important and, you know, after living for 25 years on this lifestyle, you know, I believe, and based on my research, them to be critical. And, you know, that, that basically sums up why I would prefer to drink carrot juice instead of eat bananas. And hopefully in this video, <laughs> I won't get attacked by the people that eat high fruit and eat 30 bananas a day. Because, you know, my message to you guys is this, right? Do whatever you guys think is healthy. Don't let me, I'm not saying bananas are better than carrots. You know, they're different than carrots. And for me in my life, I prefer the carrot juice at this time, and I would hope that this video maybe opened your eyes just a little bit on, on thinking, man, carrot juice isn't that bad. Removing some of the fibers is not that bad because it's still a lower glycemic index and lower glycemic load. 
than the whole bananas that contain all the fiber, also by juicing them. I will break open the cell walls, which make those nutrients more bioavailable. That's actually even staining my glass on the inside. And this is what it does to our body. You know, these beta carotenes and pigments in the in the food basically get into our cells, and it might, once I say, like I said, it might turn you orange. But this basically gives us built-in sun protection. You know, they've done studies on sun protection and phytochemicals, and in my opinion. You know, the carrot juice will give you a lot more sun protection <laughs> from the inside out than the bananas ever would, right? Unless maybe you're just eating the, the, the orange bananas that are really hard to find. And then they're, they're just lightly orange. They're not like super deep rich orange like the carrot juice and all the beta carotene it provides. So that's pretty much it for this episode. This is an episode I've really been wanting to make for a while because people think, John, how do you get all your calories? Well, you know, you can eat 100 calories of bananas for your calories. Or, you know, let's not forget the vegetables and the root vegetables also have calories in them and they can play a good part on a healthy plant-based raw food uh, diet wherever you are in your journey. And once again, you know, make some carrot juice, guys. If you guys are looking for a good juice for carrots, hey, post links down below to my website. I'll post link down below to the video I use, or the, the, the juicer I use, the Omega VSJ843 to juice my carrots as well as other different fruits and vegetables. I just made my carrot mint juice in the VSJ843. Made like over a gallon that I'll be drinking over the next days. I like to drink actually juices for hydration instead of drinking the water, which there are other benefits to that I'm not going to get to cover in this episode. All right. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, hey, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, hey, please be sure to share this video with other people that may eat too many bananas and maybe not eat enough other foods, right? Once again, I want you guys to have a balance in your life. Hey, if you eat some bananas, hey, drink some carrot juice once in a while. Don't just ever stick with one food or another because this certain person says it's good. You know, as much as I love carrot juice, I eat some bananas sometimes. I make some banana sorbet for dessert sometimes. And I love to enjoy bananas when I go to the tropics when they're fresh right off the plant and ripen slowly like they should be. Also, be sure to share this video with somebody else so that they can be aware of the power of the carrot juice. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes that are coming out every five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel about how to eat more healthily, <laughs> more healthy um, by eating fruits and vegetables in their most natural state as possible. Make sure you click the little bell so you get notified as my new videos come out. Finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge, over 500 episodes at this time on many topics about eating a plant-based, fruit and vegetable dominated raw food diet that I have. And I really go into deep into some of the subjects so that you guys can be as successful as possible. So you're not one of the people that ate 30 bananas a day and then a couple years later is no longer vegan. You know, I believe very restrictive diets, whatever they may be, uh, you know, do not give you the access of all the different phytonutrients and phytochemicals, vitamins and minerals on the planet that you need to be successful. Also, they do not feed your microbiome as well as a varied diet. As much as, hey, bananas have the fiber, which are good for your microbiome, you know, carrot juice also has some fiber, which are good for our microbiome. And we should just drink carrot juice, but we should do both. <laughs> so I'll probably be having some banana sorbet with this uh, later tonight, banana ice cream uh, for dessert. So uh, with that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fruits and your vegetables in their juice form for the best health ever.